Hey, good people, we've made it back. This is the last in the video series of things that makes me better. Rudimental bass drumming, rudimental bass feels. As I said, I think that's one of the true characteristics of my drumming and how I know it's me. I do a lot of rudiments in my drumming. I started to play snare drum in high school when I was marching, but I learned my rudiments in sixth grade, Daggy Middle School, shout out Daggy Bulldogs. Um, and my band director was like, the rudiments are pretty much the ABCs of drumming. And I came up with a clinic idea about based around rudiments just because I've had situations where I teach marching band and the rudimental guys are like, I don't know what fields I should play. And then the, the guys that play all the drum set stuff, they're like, I want to learn my rudiments. So came up with clinic ideas on how you can apply rudiments to your playing. I won't cover all 40, what well, it used to be 26, and then now there's 40 basic rudiments, and then you have your hybrids. So there's all type of stuff going on, but I'll cover a few. So here we go. Let's check it out. Rudimental bass drumming. So let's talk about basic rudiments. When we think basic rudiments, single stroke four or single stroke seven. What are those? Single strokes. When I think about single stroke fours, I put a double kick in between. Or single it out. Single stroke seven. Single stroke four, single stroke seven. So we think about hurtus. What are hurtus? Right, can come off any tone. A lot of people go. So, of course, I'm a big paradiddle person, right? So, so paradiddle. So, one thing I do is put the, the accent of the paradiddle on the four. Okay, paradiddle diddle. Let's think about it. What I like about it is how it falls back on the same hand. One of the rudiments that's really helped my playing go to another level is inverted paradiddle. So normal paradiddle goes right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. 
But inverted paradiddle is the opposite. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Well, how I phrase this is I put an accent on the first and last note of each phrase. speed to it, it really gets nice. Alright, so here's how, you can see a bunch of my videos, how I apply it to my playing. So, it falls under your hands. These rudiments have truly helped me take my personal playing to another level. Hope it helps get you better. Folks, I can't thank you enough for checking out this series, Things That Makes Me Better. We've covered the rhythm tree, syncopation, right hand, right foot combinations, and finally, rudimental bass drumming. If you've liked this, hit the like button, share, Subscribe to the channel, check out a few more videos within the channel. I have some ideas of some stuff that I want to do that's coming up. I'm going to get back to a little bit more drumming. If you want to talk to me, reach out to me, hit me up on my email address, lamontlawhorn at gmail.com or check out the website, www.lamontlawhorn.com. Definitely would like to thank my companies. We have Big First Sticks, Remote Drum Heads, Beetle Bags, and newly, Drum Dots. So again, everyone would like to thank you for checking out this channel. Hope you've learned something, some things that'll help you become better.